The excellence center or the center of excellence? Is that really who and what we are? And are these really comparisons that are honest and open and upfront? And who's supporting who? An insurance company that creates an entity called the Centers of Excellence and is here to tell you and to help you pick the very best based on their labeling a center of excellence. And we in the medical profession just go along with the story. Simply for patients to be directed to us. Don't get me wrong, standards are important and all of us want to have the highest standards. But when there's a label of a standard called the center of excellence and maybe the relationships involved aren't as clean as they can be, it seems wrong. We are all in the business of helping our patients get the very best care. And when the old mighty dollar becomes the number one, we've been tainted. And I'm not here to say that I'm not different, but I am here to ask the question, is the label of center of excellence really that? Well, maybe not. Does it mean if you're not labeled a center of excellence, you are mm, not where a patient should go? Because the standards have been created by those at the top. And if I see this right, the top is where the money is at. Being sold right and left for the highest dollar it seems that's where we're at. When some of those that are labeled a center of excellence have a relationship with those in the insurance company and they get paid a higher dollar for being in that and the patients are sent letters that help them understand that the insurance company and the providers only want you to have the very best and they have evaluated each and every center that provides this care and labeled them as such because that is really what they are. Is that really true? When the Society of Assisted Reproductive Technology and the Center of Disease Control make a statement about the data that is on their website and their publications that comparison of fertility centers cannot be made because it is not an accurate representation of the patients, of the methods, of the treatments. What goes in and what comes out may not be the same at each center for a host of reasons. But it is all we have, states the head of Optum Health's medical director, Alex DeLughi. And yet he's previously been quoted, no, you cannot use these statistics to compare. Is it really fair? We all want to have the very best and provide the very best for our patients. Is it possible we sometimes give some a chance that have a very small chance why others only give a chance that those have a better chance? I don't know. Who do we turn away? Who do we say yes or no to? 
how many chances do they get? Does the center of excellence really get to the fine points of evaluating every single center? I don't know. I'm just a reproductive endocrinologist practicing my profession and doing the best I know how and providing the care that I've been taught to give. And remember that the center of excellence only looks at IVF statistics and nothing else. Is that all we're here to do is to help everyone get to IVF? I say no. Maybe we need to come from a different angle to provide this great care. I hope that each of us as reproductive endocrinologists and fertility specialists, whether you're simply an OBGYN providing this care or a reproductive endocrinologist or a family physician that's been trained to care for the basics of infertility. I ask each of us, provide the most excellent care you know how in the honest way. And at the end of the day, that's all I really want to do. Thank you.